This is a, a portable Craig reel to reel player. The reels are about, uh, about three and a half inches big. Uh, I picked this up with a bunch of uh, old record players and uh, other tape recorders uh, from a Facebook marketplace ad I answered uh, this spring. And I've been selling these units uh, slowly but surely. Uh, this one, uh, although it was sort of working, I did have to go in and clean it up to uh, make it uh, presentable and to get a good price on it. Um, I supplied it with a uh, uh, adapter that I had from uh, picking those up and also this microphone I included with it as well. It will run on batteries. I think most people want these because uh, they have old tapes. Uh, people in uh, uh, the 60s used to send uh, tapes instead of letters or like letters uh, to family members, perhaps when they're overseas, uh, Vietnam War era. And I think people are just looking for these uh, recorder players to be able to listen to them again. I was able to get $185 for this one. Well, this is a small Bessie Pease painting or print of a painting by her. Uh, it's called The Reward. It features uh, a little toddler and her collie puppy. I actually have a large version of this, but uh, I picked this up uh, at a garage sale for just a couple of dollars. I thought the uh, pink frame was nice and somebody might want it for their baby's room. And it sold for $25. And this one sold on Bonanza. Another pair of uh, gold filled uh, Bosch and Loam round spectacles. I usually pick these up when I can find them for under uh, five dollars which is often the case and these are uh, 12 karat gold filled with the uh, cable temples and it came with a clamshell case and I got 60 bucks for it. This is a uh, portable radio made in Germany it's uh, low opta one of uh, the higher end brands in uh, Germany for their uh, tabletop wooden radios. Uh, this was made in 1971, so it's all transistor. Cute little portable radio. Uh, this is from my own collection. I bought this probably off of eBay, German eBay, as a matter of fact, in the early 2000s. But I decided to put it up for sale, and it did take several months to sell. It's got uh, three bands, AM, FM, and shortwave, or medium wave. And uh, it works quite well. I was able to get uh, $125 for this. Now, this uh, Parker Brothers game from the uh, 60s, I had sitting around for a few years. Uh, as I recall, when I first uh, obtained it at an auction or a garage sale, I can't remember, it's been so long. Uh, it wasn't worth very much when I looked it up on uh, eBay Solds. But I stumbled across it again uh, just a few months ago and put it up for sale, and it sold for $30. It just consists of cards, a little uh, card holder, and the rules. More uh, very old inventory, very seasoned. This has been up for probably about eight years. It's a uh, coffee mug featuring the 1st Battalion. I thought this would sell right away, but uh, obviously I have no idea what is popular in coffee mugs. I finally took a best offer of $7 for it. Well, it's been a little bit, but I have, uh, finally sold another uh, mousetrap game, vintage mousetrap game part. This is probably an accumulation of a couple of games that weren't complete. And the, uh, oh, what's this called? This is the lamp post part. And this sold for $9. This is one of those uh, travel bars. It's not marked uh, Trav L Bar Executor or any of these others that I've found. This is, I don't know if it's a cheap knockoff. It's definitely vintage. It is complete. It's got all the, uh, the cups or the shot glasses and uh, stirring spoon. And the uh, other little glass. 
glass, metal glass container. Holds two bottles and uh, in pretty good shape all around. Uh, I wasn't sure how to price this. I have sold a lot of these in the past, but they were all the Trav L bars. And uh, this one I asked $25 for and it took about a month to sell. Uh, this is the Wherever Super Shooter 2. I usually pick up one or two of these uh, at garage sales in the summer and uh, I'll put them up for sale right away, but I know it's uh, going to be an in-season type of item. Uh, this one, you know, I clean them, test them out, and uh, this one actually has the uh, idea book, which is uh, uh, sought after when you're trying to sell these. Not that they won't sell without it, but uh, it certainly helps. You always have to make count of your uh, uh, cutouts. Make sure you got them all. And uh, this one sold for $40. And another vintage uh, pencil sharpener sold. I haven't sold many of these lately, but I have sold quite a few of the uh, huge collection I bought. I can't believe how many I still have. Well into the uh, uh, hundreds of dollars, if not a thousand dollar profit by now on that whole collection that I bought for a couple hundred dollars. And... Um, this has got a nice translucent red uh, hopper on it. And I was able to sell this for $20. Now well, this is an AccuReach massager. I've sold probably two of these in the past, so I pick them up when I can. They do take a while to sell. I probably bought this over the summer at a garage sale. You usually get them pretty cheap. And uh, make sure you get the uh, adapter. They do come apart, so it makes it uh, a little bit easier to pack them. They were made to uh, reach behind your back self-massage tool, vibrates. And uh, I was able to sell this one for $40. Another part from my collection of uh, Mustang two parts, this is the uh, inside door handle for a 74 to 78 Mustang II. Nice chrome finish on it, and this sold for $10. Another uh, automo automotive uh, cigarette lighter sold. This is out of a Ford product, basically uh, from a 74 to 78 Mustang, but I'm sure it would fit others. I actually took a picture of it uh, glowing. I uh, stuck it in a 12-volt transformer I have that also has a cigarette outlet proof that it works. The second one I've sold now and surprisingly I get $30 for these. Now this aluminum tube is actually a fishing pole case. Fenwick is the brand name. I found this at a uh, garage sale over the summer and I uh, wasn't too sure. There's a little sock inside that I guess you put your uh, uh, fishing pole, your expensive fishing pole inside the sock and it protects it from uh, you know, bouncing around inside the uh, tube. But uh, I finally got uh, enough interest in it myself to uh, offer five bucks for it, and they let it go. And uh, it did take uh, until now to sell uh, about two months, three months, and I got $60 for it. Oh, this is a vintage dinner plate featuring the uh, Peanuts gang. Even... Uh, Woodstock is in there. And um, I saw this at a garage sale for a quarter and I just couldn't pass it up because I've sold a vintage Peanuts Gang uh, ephemera and memorabilia dolls. Uh, pretty good money. There's a, quite a bit of a collector interest out there. And uh, this did take quite a while to sell though. Uh, probably about four or five months. And it sold for $12. Another uh, part off of a uh, failed uh, bun coffee maker that I bought, hoping that it was uh, working. But uh, much easier to ship and you oftentimes make more money selling the parts. This is the Reservoir Valve. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, bun coffee makers, um, this is uh, required to work. And it's got a, uh, a supple little seal there. And I was able to sell that for $8. 
found this set of uh, Dinaware, uh, sort of a, a Pyrex uh, knockoff made in Mexico at a uh, garage sale. The whole set was $40, and unfortunately, uh, it was not complete. It was maybe a piece or two short. So I decided to sell the uh, uh, pieces separately, listed them all separately. Quite a variety of uh, pieces. So you can see they tried to go with a cornflower in brown instead of blue. But some of them had lids, as this one does. And uh, yeah, I paid $4 for this whole set. And uh, this is the first piece I've sold after a couple of months now of being listed. And I got $6 for it. So this is an ancient uh, resistor made by Westinghouse. Really big, large thing that uh, I don't know anything about it. The uh, listing is also ancient. It's been up for four or five years now. Interesting piece, and uh, finally, it just sold this morning for $25. Oh, well, this 8-track came along with a bunch that I got uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, what makes this a little different is that uh, this notch indicates it's a quadraphonic. Besides, it says quadraphonic on it. And uh, Doobie Brothers, very popular in the 70s. I uh, replaced the splice. It's got these uh, pads on there that usually don't go bad unless they fall off. So it wasn't too bad to uh, uh, service this cart. And I was able to get $35 for it.